Welcome back guys, Automotive Inc. here. So today, uh, decided to, we've been talking about upgrading from Tess. Uh, we wanted to get something just a little bit bigger and uh, finally found another gem. And so this one, again, we're right at the mark where I think most of the consumers are towing. We're at, um, on this guy, this is basically a 28, 29 footer. I'll walk it off so I have hitch to, hitch to the end, but it's a 28 foot box, 29 foot box. Uh, 11,000 pounds, almost 12,000 pounds gross vehicle weight rating. So empty is probably 10-ish. I'd have to look at the cargo stamp on it. But yeah, this thing, again, we're going to get it towing back. I thought I was done towing for the year until I thought we found this guy and then these people were awesome. And uh, so Kong's back at work and we'll let you know how it does. All right, guys, so we wrapped that up. So the new trailer, I got out and checked it. It, it is right in line with what everybody's going to be towing for the average. I mean, this is a 30-foot fifth wheel uh, base weight empty was like 8,900 pounds. Max gross vehicle weight rating on the trailer was 11.7 or something like that. So you could, it held like 3,100 pounds of cargo and gear and water and BS. So at the end of the day, this truck, again, uh, all it's done is work. It just works and works and works and rolls and rolls and rolls. No problems, no oil issues, whatever. But whether you're a Ford guy or you're a Hemi guy or you're a Chevy guy, uh, gassers can handle that every day of the week. Uh, fuel economy for this trip is right at 10 and point, what, 10 point nine. Oh, hold on, I'm on the wrong screen. Okay, there we are, 10.9. And let's see, overall, all my driving is still 11.3. So about 11,000 miles in, or 11.3 miles per gallon average across the board, totality of averages since I bought the truck. So, um, you really can't ask for anything more than that at the end of the day. Now, again, I've been towing between 12 and 17,000 with this, and I think we could push my mom's trailer up to around 18 and get it to where the truck reaches its max. As for the Chevy, <clears throat> it's more than the Ford. It's more than just about every Ram I can find out there. And with payload and a good mix of that, I mean, this truck, like I said, just keeps pounding the pavement, keeps doing it exceptionally well. Fuel economy is what I expect out of a heavy duty truck, if not better than what I am used to in a gas truck. And I'm really happy. Now, again, I didn't know the weights on this when I started the video when I picked that trailer up, but it towed great. And I think that that's what everybody can expect out of that because most people are going to be conventionally towing a conventional tow trailer that's 8,000 pounds that's going to be a pretty long trailer so again when people were saying well can it do its max <clears throat> I think that the gas engine is going to have its limitations just based on gearing and overall everything however everything I've thrown at it up to about that 17.5 it's done great but for the average consumer that's saying well I tow way less than that how does it do Remarkable at that point. I mean, it's it's you. It's night and day. You can't even tell the truck had no problems getting up and down the off ramps. Slowing itself down was nothing. Coming back up and up and down those foothills, the truck did exceptional braking wise and everything like that. As you push up higher in the weight limits and you get higher, yeah, you're going to be having a few more brake applications. Is it absurd? Absolutely not. And and do you need a diesel? Absolutely not. There's just no way. I just don't think now, I mean, looking at diesels from say 10 years ago, they weren't rated at what this gas truck can do. Um, most of uh, Ford's diesel stuff, now we go back and comparing it to the Godzilla, really you're, you're getting almost less towing going with what most people are ordering. Most of the dealers are, are ordering a 331 power stroke standard output, 331 rear end, and non-locker. I don't know why people would not get a locking rear diff in a truck. Teach their own. That being said, the tow ratings on a 331 Power Stroke without a payload upgrade package and the non-locker, you're less than a Godzilla. It makes no sense to me. So why would you go that direction? I don't know. I personally, I would save the 10 grand and go buy yourself, you know, another trip somewhere else that isn't where you need to use a truck, or you know, just use it different places and not deal with the headache, the stress, and all that other crap. Um, the Ram diesels, they do pretty good if you get not a mega cab and stuff like that. But again, the Hemi is real close to where the diesel's at if you're gonna get kind of like a standard, standard nothing special diesel. 
but I just don't see where most of the average consumers are towing over 12,000 pounds. I just don't think that. And in, in that case, any gas, any diesel currently will pretty much work if you're going for a new truck. And I just don't see it. Overall drivability, I just don't see it. Uh, but truck did excellent, guys. This should be my last bit of towing for a bit unless we introduce new trucks to the channel. We might try and get some stuff out because the snow is going to start flying here in Colorado. So now we're just going to be kind of just going over regular drivability. But as for Kong, Kong took on Zilla this summer. Kong beat Zilla, Godzilla. And I couldn't be happier because the price point of the truck, what it does, and everything like that, it's been a fantastic experience with the Chevy LAT. And um, this has definitely got to be in your wheelhouse if you're not brand loyal to one specific or you're looking to come from a different brand and you got to try everything else out. I will hands down recommend this as the 2024 best gas truck on the market, 2024 right now. So thanks a lot guys. Smash the subscribe button down there in the corner. Hit the like button for me and uh, check out and uh, come back for more content.